part two. All right, part two. The part where we get to even more questions. <laughs> Not necessarily more interesting, but more. Anyway. Uh, okay. Uh, the first question in this part is, do you guys eat the same things? Some of the same things. Yes and no. Um, I can't do what he does. Just, um... You're not surgically enhanced. I, I, and I love that, that uh, understanding. That there's, there is a difference between what I can do and what he can do. Um, and for me and my chemistry, I can't do like the no carb kind of thing that he does. Um, so sometimes like when I make dinners, um, I will make a protein and sometimes a vegetable that he'll have, but then I make me a starch. Um, cause I, and I do watch my calories and I've been trying to get more protein in my diet. Um, but I can't do as all protein and no carbs. It just doesn't work for me. Yeah. We'll not get too deep in it, but you have PCOS too. And that mm -hmm. helps, that really messes with her metabolism. And so it makes it to where it's really hard for her to do low carb stuff. I mean, it sucks because, uh, you know, you know, it's, it's hard for her to keep up with me on that side of things. But there, there have been a lot of new stuff that's been introduced in your, into your diet too. Yeah, right? I eat, I eat different things now because I eat some of the things that he eats that we never would have eaten before. I, I have a protein drink almost every morning for breakfast. Um, and I really, and, and this helps significantly. I really love them. Yeah. Um, I have quest bars on occasion. I don't do them every day for lunch like he does. Um, but I really like them for a, like a pre-workout snack for me. Um, or if I just have got that you know, need to eat something. She keeps one in her purse all the time now. Uh, yeah, it's a good thing. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's a PCOS thing or if it's just a my crazy chemistry thing, but I don't process hunger correctly. I don't always realize, like, when I'm a little hungry or when I'm, like, most people would feel hungry. Oh, I, I ought to eat something soon. Sometimes I go straight from not even thinking about food to being like, oh my god, I'm about to pass out. And I mean, I literally start getting dizzy and it's like, I've got to eat now. Um, <laughs> and I, you know, and, and five minutes cranky. ago... I, I do get a little cranky. And like five minutes before, I would have told you I wasn't hungry. I Like, I don't even get the signals right. Um, and so, yeah, quest, quest bar in the purse is, is a good thing for mm -hmm. me. I can normally tell when she's hungry before she knows she's hungry. I don't hungry. know how he knows that. We've been together for a long time, I guess. We do. We're psychically linked. <laughs> we are. Oh, there was that one time, like, we were in college. I was saying, you okay, tell about this, Battleship? <laughs> we're going to chase a rabbit for a second. <laughs> All right. So when we were in college, I was in a town at least a half hour away from her, and we were playing Battleship online. Mm -hmm. We got to this point where we started seeing each other's ships. We had we, several perfect games. We had games. several perfect games. Perfect games. No it, misses. It was wild. It was bizarre. We stopped playing because it freaked us out. It was freaky. <laughs> it was. But we're psychically linked. We are. <laughs> you see the... You see the... <laughs> the glowing aura there. <laughs> anyway. All right. They're going to think I'm crazy. No, I'm crazy. They already know I'm crazy. All right. You're just an extension of me. All right. Uh, next question. Is there anything you wish you would have known prior to Scott having surgery that you know now? Um, I don't know that I know it now, um, but I wish I would have had somebody to at least talk to about how you do this thing as an us, how you do this thing as a couple, because um, it was really, that was the hardest part for me, leading up to surgery. Um, I was a little worried about it being surgery, um, not hugely worried, just a little worried. Um, but the part that freaked me out was the trying to figure out how I, what am I supposed to do as a spouse? How am I supposed to do this? Because I can't, I can't go on liquids only for four weeks. Um, you know, and is it okay to eat in front of him or not eat in front of him and when and, and what? And like, uh, yeah, it was, it was really tough to negotiate that first Two months when he was on the diet progression were really awkward for me. And I, I wish I could have heard some advice about that. This one I came up with the idea of uh, telling her I was surgically enhanced. 
and that helped a lot. I don't know why it helped so much, but it really did to it's, to like differentiate. Yeah, it does. I'm surgically in hand, like like a like a robot or something. We have we just we have slightly different rules. We do. We have different rules for life. And food. Well, not a not well, life so much. Not necessarily just food. life. But food. <laughs> kind of life, but you know. Anyway, um. Next question. Have you noticed a change in the way Scott feels about himself? Yes. I think, uh, you know, I think the being more social now thing comes from him having more confidence in himself. Um, I've always known he was a fabulous guy. Um, that never changed for me. I forgot for a while. But yeah, he, you, you forgot. I forgot for a while. But I know. And I'm, I couldn't tell you. I, I couldn't right. convince you. No one could have told me. And, um,. And so, yeah, it's been nice. It's been really nice to see the changes that have happened. But they're, they're like Scott becoming a truer version of Scott, not like Scott becoming a different person. Right. It's like my renaissance. <laughs> that, that's what I've been likening it to. Yeah. It's like I'm having a, a rebirth of, uh, of the old Scott, and it's awesome. I'm remembering Okay, uh, this is the most controversial question, and my wife might even blush, uh, but it's the one that's always asked, so I have to ask it, because you guys want to know, and our my loving fans always get what they want. Not really, but they'll get this one. This is for you, Kirk. Uh, has your love life changed? Have you noticed more endurance in the boudoir? I don't know why y'all think we need to talk about this in public. Um, I'm a pretty private... We talk about poop and farts. <laughs> Sex is perfectly fine to talk about. Uh, let me answer the question. All right. I'm, All right. A, I'm a pretty private person. Um, so I will say that I am a very happily married woman. Um... I have always been a very happily married woman. Uh, I do not have any complaints. I have never had any complaints. And uh, ladies, he's all mine. Hands off. <laughs> Seriously. I, I have no problem with Scott having female friends. Um, but in that arena, he's mine and mine only. She's very possessive. <laughs> just the, the boudoir is just mine. Right, it is. So, you know, how about endurance? You didn't answer that part. I didn't answer the endurance question no, specifically. You I'm sorry, I have to put I have to push the issue. I don't know why you have to do that. Sorry. <laughs> because I like to see you blush. That's part of it. That was really his goal. He he had to ask <laughs> the question to make me blush. Yeah. I'm ornery like that. He is. I am um... I I I just don't feel like that's a level of detail I'm comfortable putting out there for the whole world. Right. As I said on Bat King's Friday, she is uh, very well pleased. Yes. In the bedroom. And continues to be even more pleased. That's what I'm saying. Can, can we go on to the next All right, question? Next question. Uh, do you get irritated by how much life now revolves around WLS for Scott? Around the surgery? Um, no. I mean, I'm totally with it in the life change part. Uh, the only time I ever get a little, little annoyed is um, he spends a lot more time on his phone now. And sometimes, sometimes I wish he'd put the phone down. Um, you all invited him into the like big group chat and he loves that and it's so cool for him But um, he was looking at it a little too much while we were with the family at Easter. It, it was just like Dude put your phone away <laughs> It's okay. It was a lot of food there. It was uh, keeping me away from that But we, we just need to invite her in too. Suck her in. Minor annoyance. Not like big annoyance. Minor annoyance. Minor annoyance. Minor annoyance. <laughs> all right so, how do you feel about my new WLS family? Um, I want to meet them. <laughs> she just wants to be a part of it. That's all. That's all. <laughs> I, I think it's really cool that you've made a whole bunch of new friends. And um, 
I don't think either of us realized how big of a deal Tampa would be, or um, I really she wish I could have been there. We would have absolutely. That would have been awesome. Yeah, I would have absolutely sprung for the tickets for her if I would have known just how big Tampa was going to be for me. Um, really, going to Tampa, I thought I was going to spend the whole weekend alone, sitting in my room, thinking, why the heck did I come? Uh, I had no idea that I'd make such good friends and make such great connections. So, um, I know there's been a lot of word about, you know, us being exclusive. That's complete BS, because, uh, you know, y'all took me in, and, um, what I'd say is, if you ever go to one of these, uh, conventions, just insert yourself into the group, uh, just sit down, start talking. We're all very, uh, friendly, and, you know, we all come from the same sort of background. We, we were all big people, and um, so, you know, we, we come from that background where we understand what it's like to be a wallflower. So, like I said, just, you know, insert yourself. And we're going to try to insert my wife <laughs> in, in, into the group, too. Well, in most social, social situations, we come as a package deal. Right. Like, we both sing, and any time we've ever, like, auditioned for choirs... I'm a soprano and he's a tenor. It doesn't matter which one of us you need. You get both of us. We're right. a package deal. Yeah, we're, we're together. We're psychically linked. That's the way it works. All right. So uh, we have two more questions. And we have a few more minutes. So we're good. Um, were you aware, and this is for you, uh, uh, Sarah Harry Draco Girl 1989 is your question. All right. And this is to all my Aussie friends, too. Uh, were you aware just how widely spread WLS community was? And that YouTube, uh, and that through YouTube, Scott now has friends and contacts all over the world. I had no idea. Um, I mean, obviously I knew there were weight loss surgery patients around the world, but I, I had no idea that it would be a community thing. Um, that really kind of surprised me a little bit. And I've never really been into uh, YouTube. I mean, I've watched a couple, like, how-to-do-thing videos, you but... You know, I never watched YouTube until I started watching WLS things. The same thing, yeah. And so, I had no way... When I thought of YouTube, I thought of it as, like, a one-way medium. Mm -hmm. Like, movies or television. Like, you watch it right. happen, but there, I didn't think about... I had no idea that it would become a bi-directional and community-forming medium. That really surprised me. Yeah. It's, it's normally a medium to watch kittens. And, uh, you know... Well, well or, or frozen music videos. Or... or <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm such a softie. We love that musical. It's fun. <laughs> Do you want to build a snowman? I'd like to. Not really. I'm looking forward to summer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, last question, and then if you have any other questions for me, you okay. can ask them. All right. I'm open for anything. Uh, what key pieces of advice would you give to someone whose partner is about to undergo WLS? It probably depends on the couple. Because um, I think... I think it's a really big change, and I think it can't be, I, I think you're going to be in for trouble if it's all one-sided. If it's one, either one push, person pushing the other person to do it, or, or somebody just gung-ho about doing it without, you know, you know, and if you don't like it, you can leave me kind of attitude. I've seen people like that. Um, that kind of scares me. Um, but I think if you're a healthy couple, it's going to be a stress on a relationship, but I think as you're willing to work on it, you, you know, talk about things. Um, I wish I would have had more conversations when Scott was still in the investigating, talking phase. Um, but we've had a lot of conversations since. Um, mm -hmm. And just to be able to talk about things and what, you know, what the struggles are, what the hurdles are, what's going to be hard. Um, like... I love to bake, um, and he had surgery at the very end of October, and so he was still in diet progression in December, and I said before he ever even had surgery, I'm not making Christmas treats this year. 
we may go to parties, and, and at a party I might have a Christmas cookie, but I'm not going to make it, and I'm not going to bring it into the house this year. I'm not saying I'll never do it again, but for, you know, it was, it made sense for us that it, while he's still in this transition phase especially, the rules are going to be different. Um, and you have to talk about those kind of things and figure out what makes a difference and what doesn't matter. Um, because, and I think that's different depending on who has the surgery um, and what their temptations are and what their personality is. Um, I'm a big sweets person. So that was really, and she's a big baking person. I love to bake. So that was a, you know, <laughs> it was a big thing for her to say no sweets during the Christmas season. So, but you know, there's, there's a lot of uh, talk and debate and concern around marriage and relationships around uh, weight loss surgery. And really, you just need to open it, uh, go into it with open eyes and understand that um, this is one of the biggest stresses you're ever going to have on your relationship. Um, and we've lived through a few big stresses. And we've lived through some big stresses, <laughs> um, you know. I've gone through uh, my parents going through a breakup um, shortly after my mom had uh, weight loss surgery. Ugly so breakup. Um, you know, we we went into it with open eyes that uh, there were going to be a lot of struggles, and so we knew starting into it that we needed to develop rules, and we needed to work with each other and understand that uh, you know uh, we were going to get stressed, but we need to stick together. You know, and it's a team thing. Well, we knew we... Yeah. We knew us was us. I mean, right. you know. I uh, mean, you know. <laughs> who wouldn't stay with this beautifulness? I mean, I, you know. I did tell him he didn't get a trade-in on a new model. It didn't right. matter how yeah. skinny he gets. He's got me. <laughs> I like the curvy girls anyway. I don't know way it works. <laughs> and as long as, as long as we're clear on that, you know, we, we can do a whole lot of things. As long as... Uh, and we are always have been clear on us being committed. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I, I I think that you can handle a lot when you know that the ground is safe. Right. The D word completely uh, is illegal. What? The D word. Huh? Right. Exactly. What's that? <laughs> what is that? Absolutely. So anyway. All right. That's that is all of the developed questions. That have been sent in by our wonderful viewers. Uh, do you have any questions for me? Um, if you were on that advice thing, if you had a time machine and could send a letter to uh, Bridget of, you know, the beginning of this process, is there any advice you would have given me? Any advice I would have given my Or that wife. you would give me from what you know now? Um... I would say it's all going to be okay. I mean, that's the first thing I would say is you don't need to worry. Uh, first thing, I'm not going to die, <laughs> and I found that out because I didn't. That would be that you know right. that would ease right. my mind a little. Right. That's, that's the first thing. Uh, second thing is we can do this, uh, and really, if we just work together, if we uh, make small changes. If uh, we uh, just stick with it, if we uh, work together, everything's going to be okay. And really, that's the way we've handled it. Uh, I know that that was sort of some of our, um, some of the things that we were concerned about was just, how do we do this? Um, but, you know, and, and can we do this? And so I would have just said, you know, you know it's, it's all going to be okay. And, uh, you know, I'm going to stick with you, and you're going to stick with me, and we're going to work together. We're going to develop new healthy habits. We're going to bring good foods into our house. We're going to eject the crap <laughs> out of our house, and we're going to start living a better life. And it's, uh, it's going to work. Well, if you could have told past me I was going to finally lose weight, like, significantly for the first time ever. I know. That she, would have been major here, bonus points. <laughs> she would have gotten on board way sooner. <laughs> way sooner. If she would have believed that from the beginning. Yeah. So, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Weren't there a couple questions from the top I was supposed to ask you to? Or answer about you that you answered? 
Oh, the habit thing. Um, habits I wish he didn't have. Um, there aren't a lot, but... <laughs> right, I, 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 I forgot to ask her these things. <laughs> he, he really is a prince. Um, but <laughs> one of the things he does that drives me crazy is he leaves trash around the house. Like, so at night when he's watching TV, he'll get him some sugar-free popsicles, and then he'll leave the popsicle sticks and the wrappers on the end table. And it drives me crazy to leave trash yeah, out. It I just know. does. Um, and it's really an, a minor thing. It's not a big deal. But that's one of those little habits that annoys you know, me. it's way better than Taco Bell wrappers, though, right? <laughs> yeah, it used, it used to be other kinds of trash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, and I wanted to answer the what do I love most about oh, you question. That's, that is, that's a great way to end this. Um, he's smart. And uh, that's really important to me. Um, I'm a thinking kind of person, and I always have been. And I knew I needed somebody who would play on the same field as me and uh, think with me. And so he's smart, and he's funny. If you've been around him at all, you've heard some bad puns and some goofy sense of humor. And I think I found the only other man in the whole wide world who has the same sense of humor as my father. Uh, <laughs> but... I love it. It's uncanny. <laughs> it really is. And, uh, okay, so, okay. and sometimes okay. I get to do the little giggles, and sometimes I get to be the heavy and just like roll my eyes. So, right. you know, right. I love both ends okay. of the humor. I have to tell you one of my favorite puns, and these, this has happened years <laughs> apart, and this shows you just how much my sense of humor is like her dad's. Okay, we were going down the road, and I had just bought her a cello because mm -hmm. she plays cello, okay. uh, did in high school. I'm starting to learn a little bit more. But anyway, just out of nowhere, I said, C-E-L-L-O. <laughs> and and I, she... I bust up laughing. And it's not that funny of a joke, but I just couldn't stop laughing. And, and finally I stopped and I'm like, no, that's the same joke my dad made when I started playing. <laughs> it just cracked me up. Right. Uh... <laughs> so we're, we're very similar. Yeah. So, I belong in her family. <laughs> it's it's weird. So, yes, okay. you, you you fit I great do. in the family. Okay. Um, so he's smart and he's funny and he's cute. He's like big strong man and can take good care of me. And uh, and I love that. And uh, and he's a real family guy. And uh, even as a teenager, he was um, very committed to family, and and that's very attractive. Yeah. Any anything else? I think that is it. All right. All right. Well, hello, um, WLS friends, and uh, I hope that helps you know a little bit about me. And I can't wait to actually um, meet you all sometime at some event. And uh, for now, comment, chat, whatever. Um, I'm looking forward to getting to know God's new friends. All right. So, what is your new YouTube name? Because she might make videos. Um, I haven't committed to making videos, but I did create a handle. Um, I love the way that uh, less of Will asked of the no, boot. It's, it's more of Will. More of Will. Sarah. Sorry, um, more of Will asked the boudoir question by asking about if the tigress uh, was more satisfied, and I just I liked being the tigress. Um, so I decided I made a new um, Facebook account and a new email, and so now I am the plus one tigress, um, and I thought that was cute and feminine and worked with his name, and um, and I thought that was fun. Um, so I'm the plus one tigress if you want to find me um, on Facebook, and um, yeah, I'm, I might make some cooking videos sometime, um, but I might post them through you instead of myself. <laughs> Well, you know, it's 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 a group package. So <laughs> she might make some gastric tiger videos, but it's actually the gastric. The tiger. plus one the, tigers. I'm not gastric. The plus one tigers. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, I know this is uh, you know two long videos, but hopefully it was uh, something that you're interested in watching and you enjoyed it. I know we had a fun time making it. Yeah. All right, so I guess until next week, I, uh, I will see you sometime next week with my sixth month video, 
And, um, you know, we'll see. Uh, and have some tip topics to uh, work up for that. So we will see you then. So until then, have the courage to be the new you this week. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.